So let's solve this problem. So for this integration by u substitution, then for this given, so first, we need to put this constant outside. So we have 5 in the integral of x times the quantity of x squared plus 7 to the power 3, then the dx. Then using now the u substitution, so u equals, so this equation with exponent, so u is equal to x squared plus 7, then du or the derivative of u. So the derivative of x squared, this is 2x, then the derivative of e constant, this one is 0, so we have 2x. Then we need to add the dx. Then observe that from this equation, so we have x dx. So to solve for x dx, we need to divide both sides by 2. So we have du over 2 is equal to x dx. Then apply now the u substitution. So, bring down the constant, then the integral of x squared plus 7, and that's equal to u. So, this is u to the power 3. Then, for this x dx, so x dx is equal to du over 2. So, we have du over 2. Then we need to put this denominator to outside. So this becomes 5 over 2. Then the integral of u to the power 3 du. Then apply now the formula for the integral of u to the power n. So if we have the integral of u to the power n du, this is equal to u. So n plus 1, so just add 1 to the exponent over n plus 1, then plus the constant or plus c. So this becomes 5 over 2 times u plus 1 for the exponent to the power 4 over, since the exponent is 4, so the denominator is also equal to 4 then plus c. Then to simplify, so multiply, so we have 5 times u and u is equal to x squared plus 7, so times x squared plus 7, then to the power 4 over 2 times 4, that's 8, then plus c. Then for this given, so first, we need to rewrite this radical in exponential form. So this is equal to the integral of the quantity of 3x minus 8 to the power 2 over, so this root is the denominator of the exponent, so to the power 2 over 3 then times the dx, then using now the u substitution, so u equals 3x minus 8, then du, so the derivative of u, the derivative of 3x, that's 3, this is 0, so we have 3 dx, then to solve for dx, divide both sides by 3, so du over 3 is equal to dx. Then apply now the u substitution. So from this equation, so we have the integral of 3x minus 8. And 3x minus 8 is equal to u. So this is u to the power 2 over 3. Then the dx and dx is du over 3. 
then we need to put this denominator 3 outside. So this becomes 1 over 3, then the integral of u to the power 2 over 3, then du. Then apply now the formula for the integral of u to the power n. So this is 1 over 3, then times. So we have u to the power 2 over 3, and again, plus 1 for the exponent, and this is also equal to 2 over 3, then plus 1, then plus c, then to simplify, so 1 over 3 times, so this 2 over 3 plus 1, so apply the butterfly method, so 2 times 1, this is 2 plus 3 times 1, that's 3, then over 3, so this is equal to 5 over 3, so we have u to the power 5 over 3, and also the denominator, that's 5 over 3, then plus c, then to simplify, so multiply, so we have u and u, is equal to 3x minus 8. So we have the quantity of 3x minus 8 to the power 5 over 3 then over. So multiply. So this 3 times 5 over 3. So this is equal to 15 over 3. So just multiply this whole number to this numerator, then plus c, then for the final answer, so we need to take the inverse of this denominator, so this 15 over 3 becomes 3 over 15, then the quantity of 3x minus 8 to the power 5 over 3, then plus C. Then for this given, so first, we need to bring up this denominator and put this constant outside. So this becomes 5, then the integral of x to the power 3, then times the quantity of 2x to the power 4, plus 5 and this exponent becomes negative then the dx then apply now the u substitution so u equals this equation inside the parenthesis so we have 2x to the power 4 plus 5 then the derivative of u so the derivative of 2x to the power 4, this is 8x to the power 3, this one is 0. Then we need to put dx. Then since we have x to the power 3 times the dx, so to solve for x to the power 3 dx, divide both sides by 8. So this is du over 8 equals x to the power 3 dx then using now the u substitution so bring down this constant times the integral so this is u to the power negative 3 and x to the power 3 dx that's du over 8 then this is equal to 5 over 8. So put this denominator 8 outside. And we have now the integral of u to the power negative 3 du. Then to find now the integral. So we have 5 over 8 times u. Again plus 1 for the exponent. So this becomes negative 2 since the exponent is negative 2. So the denominator is also equal to negative 2 then plus c. Then to simplify, so multiply. So this is 5 times u and u. 
is 2x to the power 4 plus 5. Then quantity to the power negative 2. Then over this 8 times negative 2. This is negative 16. Then plus C. Or this is equal to negative 5. Then over 16 times 2x to the power 4 plus 5 to the power positive 2 plus C. So we just need to bring down this negative exponent so that becomes positive 2. Then for this even, so again, we need to put this constant outside first. So we have 2 times the integral of x to the power 2 times e to the power x to the power 3, then the dx, then apply now the u substitution, so u equals the exponent of e, so that's x to the power 3, then du, so the derivative of x to the power 3, this is 3x to the power 2, then the dx, since we have x squared dx and to solve for x squared dx so divide both sides by 3 so we have du over 3 equals x squared dx then apply now the u substitution using this equation so bring down 2 then the integral of e to the power x to the power 3 since x to the power 3 is equal to u so this is e to the power u then for this x squared dx so since x squared dx is du over 3 so we have du over 3 then to simplify so put this denominator 3 outside so this becomes 2 over 3, then the integral of e to the power u du. Then to find now the derivative, since the integral of e to the power u du is equal to e to the power u, then plus c. So we have 2 over 3, then times. So this is e to the power u plus c then substitute now the value of u and u is equal to x to the power 3 so this is 2 over 3 then times e to the power 3 plus c